Hello, 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 hello fellow Kenyans. Welcome back. My name is Banana Peddler. And uh, recently I issued a statement uh, concerning the incompetence of uh, uh, William Ruto. Uh, recently I issued, a, I tendered an apology uh, on behalf of uh, the people, all the people who campaigned for William Ruto and uh, feel like uh, Ruto has let us down. Uh, especially as the people who championed uh, for his uh, election uh, as the president of Kenya. Now, Leo, um, I still want to reiterate on what I said, uh, because many people have been asking me, well, when you will come to a Ruto, when you will campaign a Ruto, when you will find him, what happened, Bwana? When you will come to a Ruto, when you will come No, that is not the reason why. Now, today I'm here to state uh, facts only. And uh, I said that uh, uh, Kalenjins are the worst managers of any economy, uh, especially uh, inchi kama economy kama yetu ya Kenya, the one that is growing. And I said that this country can only be safe uh, kwa mikona ya kikuyu, a kikuyu president. And I still, re I still maintain what I said, uh, that uh, William Ruto, is the worst president any country can have. Yani, it is just a shame uh, to have uh, somebody like William Ruto as a president. Because Sisi, we thought he's a nice guy. We thought that uh, the things he was saying, he was going to actualize them. Uh, his agenda, he had a clear agenda on paper uh, that we thought that maybe if he actualizes it, uh, it is going to... Uh, it is going to impact on the lives of Kenyans positively. Lakini sasa wakati alifika huko, e, maneno ikakuwa tafauti, na akajaza ukabila watu wake, more than, if, if, almost 60% of this government is headed by Kalenjins, department CEOs, uh, directors, uh, heads of actually uh, parastatals ni Kalenjins. And I said here that Kalenjins are the worst managers uh, you can uh, you put in a, an institution, uh, Waran. They are the worst managers because they eat everything. Unlike Kikuyu, who eats a little like Kumbuka Kesho, Kalenjins wana fieka kila kitu. And uh, Kalenjins employ only Kalenjins. Ukabila number moja. And I don't say this because I hate any tribe Kalenjins. I don't hate Kalenjins. No, mimi nasema eh, na ni ukweli kwamba Kalenjins ni wakabila William Ruto aliingia serikali bila atukuwa tunatarajia akachukua wa Kalenjin akajaza peke yao akawajaza peke yao eh, ata kikuyus walistuka because ata, ata kama rigadhi gashaka walisema kuna mamba ya, ya shares kwa hiyo serikali kikuyus don't have those shares hakuna ata kikuyus pia wamestuka vile nimestuka because Sai what is happening in William Ruto's uh, uh, government. And I'm going to state uh, those key uh, parastatal heads na CEOs when you're on ahead about the challenges only. I'll state uh, more than 50 of them. You see, wakati kikuyus, uh, anybody, forget about kikuyus now, like anybody, mali na fasi iko, I can say, I can say like, uh, I can confirm like, uh, uh, six cases wale wenye walikuwa na heads uh, some departments uh, wanatolewa and then they are replaced by Kalenjins wanatolewa wanakuwa replaced by Kalenjins that is what William Ruto is doing and that is what he has uh, ordered at a CSS work and a PSS ambao ndio wengi kwa serikali hivyo ndiye amewaorda wafanye saizi uh, nataka tuende through i want us to go through ndio watu waseme maybe I'm being tribal. And uh, before I start, uh, because I have the list here, uh, before I start mentioning them, I want to state categorically that in 2027, I see what happened in 2007. I want to repeat that what happened in 2007 is going to be repeated uh, in 2027, the post-election violence. I can foresee it. That is why we should do something. Why, 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 is it, why is it likely to happen? According to me, uh, William Ruto is likely to lose the elections in 2027 to Kalonzo Musioka because uh, 
is the only man right now after Raila Odinga who can give William Ruto a run for his money. People are going to vote for Kalonzo Musyoka uh, because Baba will give him his blessings. And after people vote for Kalonzo Musyoka, Kalonzo Musyoka is going to win the elections. But William Ruto and the Kalenji Nation awata kubali hiyo matokeo. Because sahi wamejazo kwa serikali, they will be worried uh, of their maybe security ya kazi yao, most of them. So they are not going to accept. As a result, violence is going to erupt. Vile tu ilifanyika last time and uh, people are going to be sent to IDP camps. So we should really do something about that. I'm not inciting or fueling any violence uh, because this is something that I've seen coming and we should do something about it. So the reason why I'm saying that, when Kalenjins, right now we don't have uh, IEBs in place, there is no uh, quorum. But let us hope that uh, uh, the quorum will be there very soon. We are going to have uh, IBC chairperson. Uh, we'll get maybe we'll, we are going to, to get a better person and uh, i want to pray that the person uh, the policy makers uh, are going to uh, change systems and maybe uh, ensure that uh, institutions have their own uh, freedom of freedom of operation especially the ibc so ziko independent Kama IBC, so that no president, sitting president, can directly tamper with the elections uh, results as announced or even before they are announced by the chair. Now, Kenyans should pray hard. Now, people have been saying that when you know Nasema, oh, na kelea William Ruto, atie ya ni mkabila amejaza wa Kalenjins. Now, wacha tuende pole pole hapa. Number one. And I want to apologize to Kenyans for electing this man, for campaigning for this man, William Ruto, because he's a shame uh, to, to this nation. Ukabila Tupu, so much, very much incompetent uh, of a president, is the worst president in the world. I can say that. Sasa lazima tuonge bana. The things have gotten uh, harder. Lazima sasa watu wazungumze. Ata kama muna tukashifu sisi ndio tulimuweka hapo, uyo zakayo, juya miti. But... Sasa, we have to talk. We apologize. We have to talk. Number one, head of civil service, Felix Kosgei, Kalenjin. Kenjin, chief executive officer, Abraham Serem, Kalenjin. Kenya Power CEO, Joseph Siror, Kalenjin. Kenya Pipeline CEO, Joe San, Kalenjin. Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Agency CEO, Daniel Kipto, Kalenjin. Kenya Nuclear Regulatory Authority Director General James Keter Kalenjin. Ketraco Company Secretary Lydia Sitiene. Kenya Ports Authority CEO anaitwa William Ruto kama William Ruto huyu. Kalenjin. Kemri CEO Elijah Songok. Kalenjin. Uh, New KCC CEO huyu mwenye amewekwa juzi. KCC CEO, Nixon Sige, Kalenjin. NSSF CEO, David Koros, Kalenjin. National Cereals and Produce Board CEO, John Getich, Kalenjin. Agriculture and Food uh, Authority Chairman, Cor Corneli Serem, Kalenjin. Kenya Seed Company, Chief Executive Officer, Sami Kiplagat, Kalenjin. Nyayo Tizon CEO, Peter Koril, Kalenjin. Kenya Agricultural <coughs> Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization CEO anaitwa Eliud K Kireger Kalenjin Now number 17 Kenya Meat Commission Chair Joseph Kipto Kalenjin Number 18 Kenya Dairy Board CEO Margaret Kibogi Kalenjin Kenya Animal Genetics Resource Center CEO David Kios Kalenjin. Number 20. Export Processing Zone EPZ Chairman Mwenyaliavotoliwa Richard Cheruyot Kalenjin. Kenya National Accreditation Services Chief Executive Officer Martin Chesire Kalenjin. Special Economic Zones Authority CEO Kenneth Chelule Kalenjin. 
Insurance Regulatory Authority Chief Executive Officer Godfrey Kiptum Kalenjin 24 Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation Chief Executive Officer Ellen Chepchumba Chepkoni Kalenjin Privatization, Privatization Commission Chief Executive Officer Joseph Kosge Kalenjin 26 Director General of Immigration Evelyn Cheluget Kalenjin and remember kulikuwa na mkisia hapo when Ruto came in akamtoa akaweka Kalenjin akam replace na Cheluget huyo Evelyn Cheluget anyway 27 Kenya Space Agency Chief Executive Officer Hillary Kipkosge Kalenjin Kenya Post Kenya Post Office Savings Bank Chair Sarah Serem Kalenjin Kenya Water Towers that is number 29 Kenya Water Towers Agency Chief Executive Officer Julius Tanui Kalenjin Kenya Forestry Research Institute Kefri Chief Executive Officer Joshua Cheboyo Kalenjin Tourism Regulatory Authority Chief Executive Officer Norbert Talam Kalenjin Kenya Tourism Board KTB CEO John Chirichiri Kalenjin North Rift North Rift Valley Water Works Development Agency Chief Executive Officer Edwin Cheriot Rotich Kalenjin National Employment Authority Chairman Vincent Keegan Kalenjin 35 Kenya Pipeline Chair Faith Boynet Kalenjin 36 Kenya Ports Authority Chair Caleb Kositani Kalenjin 37 Chemilil Sugar Chief Executive Officer Kipto Kiplum Kalenjin 38 Nzoia Sugar Managing Director Ezron Kotut Kalenjin National Police Service Commission Chief Executive Officer Peter Kiptanui Kalenjin GSU General Service Union uh, Unit Commandant Eliud Lagat Kalenjin Kenya Copyright Board CEO Edward Sige Kalenjin NCIC Director General Philomena Kapkori Kalenjin Registrar of Companies CEO Joyce Koech Kampa, uh, uh, Joyce Koech Kalenjin Number 44 Kenya National Chamber of Commerce Industry The President is Dr. Eric Ruto Kalenjin National Council of People with Disabilities Chairperson Elizabeth Chesang Yani wana invade kila mahali hakuna huruma hata kidogo Elizabeth Chesang uh, ni Kalenjin Now Director General of Public Investments and Portfolio Management Lawrence Kibet Kalenjin 47 Registrar of Companies Joyce Koech Kalenjin 48 Chemel Sugar CEO uh, Kipto Kiptum, here yeah, I think in Mesoma. Kenya Tourist Board, here uh, I think in Lisoma, National Service Police. Okay. Kenya KPCU Chairman Daniel Chemno, CBK Deputy Governor Mwenyamayoko Juzi, Susan Koech. Rivertex Managing Director Kipkurgat Thomas Kalenjin, 56. KVDA, uh, KVDA Chairman. Iyo ni Kerio Valley Development Authority Chairman Mark Chesergon Kalenjin 57 Kenya Investment Authority Managing Director June Chepkeme Kalenjin Director General of Kenya Urban Roads Authority Kura Philomena Kandie Kalenjin 59 T Board of Kenya Chief Executive Officer Willi K. Mutai Kalenjin Number 60, Water Tower Agency, Chief Executive Officer, Professor Julius Tanui, Kalenjin. 61, Uduma Centers, CEO, Benjamin Chilumo, Kalenjin. Kenya Medical Training College, Chairman, Joseph Cheriot, Kalenjin. Salaries and Regulatory Chair, Cherop Mengich, Kalenjin. Data Protection Commissioner, Immaculate Kasaid, Kalenjin. Kagrik CEO, Bernadette Misoy, Kalenjin. KAA Chairman, Kenya Airports Authority, uh, Caleb Kositani, Kalenjin. Jamin, wacha ni wachia hapo kwanza. You know, as a nation, it is very shameful uh, when you have such a president. And William Ruto, 
should be ashamed of himself uh, as the president of this nation. Now we must speak, Atakama, even if they arrest us, they kill us, but we must speak. And this is the truth. You cannot take all your tribesmen and you unajaza kwa, kwa, kwa serikali, unajaza kwa serikali. For God's sake, William Ruto, there are other Kenyans also who are capable and qualified of holding such uh, positions in government. It is not only Kalenjins. In fact, even Kalenjins themselves, Ata Kalenjins wenyewe, Ata wanasema, they are also uh, astonished, one meshanga, what is happening. So, it is time we rise as a nation. Na tuseme, no to um, nepotism. And na hii mambo ya kufeva feva, that a president who comes in, lazima aweke watu wake peke yao. Especially no more watu kama sisi wenye, who did not even sleep so that we can campaign for William Ruto. Uh, tuki, wengine, we were even arrested. Some of, most of us were arrested. While we were to operate from uh, Karen. We were arrested. So it is a shame because even Kikuyus themselves in this government, they are not satisfied. They are up in arms. They are complaining because they have also been shortchanged. At most of them were shortchanged. And at all, Kalenjin's replaced. Na fasi kipatikana wakiangalia maali, Toa huyo kalenji ndani. Toa huyo kabila kalenji ndani. Sasa, are we running a nation? This is not a nation we are running, William Ruto. It is not only kalenjins who elected you as president. Ni wa Kenya wote ndi walikupigia kura. Sio kalenjins peke yao. I remember when we were in Karen, uh, you, were, you never invited kalenjins to Karen. Kumbo uliko na wambia nyinyi kaeni, wacha wa wakule yao because you were inviting other tribes to William Ruto was inviting other tribes to Karen kwa residence yake residence of the deputy president official residence he was inviting only other tribes kumbe he was telling that his tribesmen uh, wacha wakuja wakule yao tukichukua serikali nyinyi ndio mra take over hizo uh, sectors zote za government and this is shameful uhuru never did this kibaki never did this it is shameful and I'm really disappointed, especially uh, having campaigned for you uh, so painstakingly. It is really saddening. And uh, I repeat once again that this country is bleeding from all openings, including the ears, the nose, the, uh, the, the eyes, and even the anus. This country is bleeding. It is time we did something to save this country. William Ruto must change.